MX3D uses a 3D printing robotic arm to print stainless steel bridges in mid-air. This bridge will be used to cross one of the most famous canals in Amsterdam. The next goal would be to build a bridge on site in mid-air as the robot moves along the structure as it builds it. A company called MUD built bamboo structures wrapped in fabric, and drones were used to spray a cement-like mixture onto the fabric to harden it into a solid structure. Using drones to build structures would be helpful in places where it's hard to get heavy-duty machinery, such as cranes, and in places where it would be hard to get a labor force. AIST have a humanoid construction robot. It can pick up and carry materials such as individual sheets of drywall and then screw them into place. The robot can even carry these large sheets of drywall when its view is blocked since it knows its position in the room. It is able to detect tools, pick them up and use them, such as a drill for screwing in drywall. One big benefit of the humanoid robot is that it has a small footprint, so it does not take up a lot of space compared to other much larger construction robots. This is the SAM-100, which stands for Semi-Automated Mason. It is a bricklaying robot by Construction Robots. The SAM-100 is equipped with a conveyor belt, a mobile robotic arm, and a concrete pump. It can be programmed to change brick patterning and layout. It is capable of laying 3,000 bricks a day, while human masons can lay around 1,000. For large construction projects that require repetitive rebar tying, there is the TieBot by Advanced Construction Robotics. The autonomous self-navigating TieBot takes on the laborious and repetitive task of tying metal rods together. Used for building bridges, tunnels and highways, it can complete 1,100 ties an hour and can work day or night and in the rain. Canvas is a robot capable of drywalling just as well as a human, while cutting down on construction time. It sprays drywall compound onto the walls and ceilings, and is equipped with a dust-free sanding system. Volvo has an electric construction hauling robot called the HX-1. It can transport 15 tons, has zero exhaust emissions, and is four-wheel steering. It is also fully autonomous.
Then there are demolition robots, such as Husqvarna's DXR. These demolition robots make it safer and cheaper for demolitions to happen, but for now they are slower than human workers and are not yet able to work autonomously. The DXR is a remote-controlled robot which keeps humans out of harm's way, and it is a highly capable multi-tool that can be equipped with grapplers, crushers, buckets, cutters, and breakers. On construction sites, Boston Dynamics' spot is mostly used for inspections. Spot uses its camera to gather data and can also use an optional thermal camera for taking temperature and pressure readings. With the add-on robotic arm, Spot can also carry out actions on site. It can also be programmed to work on its own autonomously and can be upgraded so that it can self-charge at the end of its workday. Construction robots can speed up the painting process by almost 25%. The Pictobot by Transformer Robotics has a mobile base which allows the robot to navigate easily around a space. It can reach up to 10 meters high or 32 feet. The robot scans the structure, and then with its six-axis robotic arm and precision spray nozzle, the Pictobot achieves a more even and consistent paint coat than a human painter, and it is also able to paint on more complex surfaces and architectural features. It can even paint in the dark when there are no lights on at the construction site. FBR constructed their first house in 2018 using their Hadrian X robot. They first constructed a 180 square meter house that had three bedrooms, and it took just three days for the Hadrian X to complete it. and FBR have also used the robot to build a two-story house and a commercial building. <laughs> 